say hello to the yub tubs and where are we stream five okay i don't remember okay at... what were we doing last time we were doing some quests i remember that and we went to vivek and while in vivek i don't think we ever found the person we were actually looking for at least not that i can remember uh but they we were given another quest to find some like hooded figure um but like we have no idea where to look or anything for it <laughs> so like we're just completely lost especially in vivek because like vivek is so open and just like i don't know samey as you walk around but like i don't know man anyways i think we ended up giving up with vivek though and decided to just leave and uh go do like something else i have to remember how to play the game think you want to take a bath do you need anything for no i'm good love you can get your bath story aspects you do agree the change was drawing one is still your favorite overall yeah that's my thing like i just think like also from a gameplay aspect right two was very different from one in a lot of ways and i don't think necessarily in a good way um three was a bit more return to form but just in general, I think Jack and Daxter works better as, like, the lighthearted feels instead of the more serious tone that they decided to take. But teach their own, of course. Whatever your favorite is, that's your favorite, man. In my opinion, does not matter in that regard. Uh, okay. Larius, I remember, wants us to do some shady, shady shit. Beauty and the Beast. I'm on the road northwest of him. It'll be f oh, okay, you just want us to find the person who robbed you. Uh, da -da -da -da. and then you want to go to Mkilaya, which we still don't know where that is. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, here's, here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to go back to the, the, the city with the fighters guild in it. And from there, maybe do a little bit more of the... Oh, there's like a weird invisible wall here. And then from there, do more of the Fighter's Guild stuff, maybe? And see if we can't, like, gain some more levels and or uh, get on the main quest line. Now, granted, I guess <laughs> maybe one of the quests we have could be the main quest line. I just don't know it. Oh, God, we're going to die, dude. Why can we not hit you? Seriously, why can we not hit him? Oh, damn it, dude. And <laughs> we found out. We're so dead. We're so dead. <laughs> yep. Well, you know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's better to die, like, then than some other time, right? I'll take it. I'll, <laughs> I'll accept it. It's fine. Anyways. uh, How are we looking? Are we... Yeah, like, everything's fine, man. We actually have, like, fortified strength right now and everything, too. Whatever. Screw that place. <laughs> Let's go back to where we were. That's why you're still want wanting they could go back to such a lighthearted feel. Wishing? Maybe? And expand on the story. Yeah, I would love if they made another one. I mean, in general, I would love if they made another one. Because, like I said, from what I've played of 2 and 3, they're still good games. I just don't think they're as good as the first one, personally. Um... But regardless of that, yeah, I would love if they made another game. And if they decided to go the more lighthearted route with it, that would be pretty, pretty awesome. I think I need to turn down my own headphones a little bit. Is the game audio okay now? Or do I need to turn it down a little bit more? It looks like it's probably okay from what I'm seeing, but sometimes it's hard to tell without being the one actually listening to it, you know? What are you? I think we should probably not fuck with you. You're very cool looking, though. Betty Netches, huh? I think the Betty Netches are okay. I think it's these big ones, right? That basically murder us if we, if we fuck with them at all. I think those are the ones we need to be more careful about. 
25 votes on Jack 2. Somebody wants to see Jack 2 happen, huh? <laughs> fair enough, my guy. Fair enough. So we're just traveling up and around. We could take a uh, cart or, what or whatever. A, a... Oh, what are they actually called? They're not carts in this game. That's Skyrim, but... Whatever they're called. We could take one of them, but, like, it's fine. We don't... We don't need to do all that. Corrosive. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to change. No, don't... <laughs> don't smack him with the fucking fishing pole, dude. Did we lose all of our proficiency with battle axes or something? Like... Why do we suck so bad all of a sudden? Corrosive. Come on. Just hit him. We weren't this shitty with battle axes before. There we go, dude. <laughs> Holy hell. Just a couple... Oh, you know what? We leveled up again, didn't we? And when we leveled up, we turned the difficulty up. Or did we? Did we end up leveling up again? Did I forget to turn the difficulty up? Yeah, we're level 3. Okay. So, I must have forgot to turn the difficulty up. That is not boating well for us. <laughs> Whoop. Return. <laughs> oh, God, dude. We're so screwed. You know I don't like playing out of order. You actually want you to finish Jack 3. We'll get there, man, for sure. Sooner or later, we'll get there. I'm not even, like, the least bit worried about that, to be honest. It's gonna happen. Because they are games that I want to play to completion as well. Like, not just for the stream, but also just for my own sake. Um, are there evil things in this water? We've had a couple problems with the evil things. I don't like that... The music suddenly changed to, like, battle music. Right there! Look at him! Look at the dick! Are you the only one around here? Get wrecked. Small slaughterfish, that's what they are. Okay. Hopefully he's the only one. We don't have to swim far. No, there's definitely another one. I'm trying to eat our ass right now. <laughs> it's terrible whenever we're scared of fish. Like, <laughs> I think I think we're fine. I think it's gonna be okay. We can make it. What are you? Wish I had a way of like zooming in. That does not look friendly. Whatever that is, I say. We go uh, this way. Run, run, run. Oh, dude, that's a big one. He tried to eat us. What is that? Is that something we can take? Oh, God. He's swinging at us. <laughs> God damn, he hit us. Dude. <laughs> Screw you, fish. Really? What'd you run away for? Get back here. We're gonna die to a couple of fish. Bro, for real though? Like, why do we suck? I didn't like load the wrong character, right? Tab. Axe. 33. That's our higher... Oh, progress sword scroll. Yeah, that's our best weapon. Why do we suck so bad with it all of a sudden? We were doing fine with it before. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Gotta remember, this isn't Skyrim, and we can't just, like... Skyrim run up walls, jump up walls constantly. I mean, I know part of our problem right now is, like, that we're very low on stamina. And I believe if you're out of stamina, you just have a harder time in general hitting anything. But my god, dudes. 
that not a combat sound? I think we're good. I don't see anyone. But that definitely sounds combat-y. I want to, like, explore there, but I know if we do, we're just going to die, dude. We go in the right direction vaguely, yes. Oh, well, whatever. Maybe the music was from, like, just being near the whatchamacallit. The ruins or whatever they were. Did I hear that? No. Hear what, love? Is this something I need to be concerned about? Or did, like, the catch just knock something over? <laughs> A noise outside? Like outside our house? Again, is it a noise I need to be concerned about? Or is it something we I can just ignore? Tell me a noise outside doesn't tell me much, love. Like, is it just a loud-ass car or something? Or is somebody breaking into the house? Like, <laughs> you gotta be just a tiny bit more specific, love. You thought it was thunder, but you don't think it was. Okay, well, I'm sure it's fine. There's also a lot of people setting off, like, fireworks and whatnot this time of year, so. It's probably nothing. I hear we bastard somewhere. Before we get into a fight again, though, let's drink, like, a uh, healing potion or something, man. Restore health. So that's standard. Don't we have, like, shitty restore health? Cheap restore health, yeah. Take, uh, I don't know, three. Probably don't actually need that many. Oh, they're, like, time-based. I forgot. They're not instant. Okay, that's fine. Have we been there before? We have not. Let's stop and say hello. You don't know what it was? I mean, I figured that whenever you said you didn't know what it was. But... <laughs> like I said, I'm sure it's fine. It's probably just people setting off fireworks or something. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, we can take another one. Wish I knew how to, like, heal this stuff. Leg injury. Just affects our speed, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Is this a town, or...? Hello. Go ahead. Where are we? Saran, oh, fancy new place, huh? I don't know if there's anything here we really need to worry about, but do you have a, a fighter's guild? You have an apothecary, Dunmer Temple. I don't suppose you guys have a fighter's guild around here anywhere, do you? Um, tell me a little bit about your background. You're Nedris Lerivu, witch hunter. Very fancy. What are the latest rumors? Nares, Nares are a theorist <laughs> found a rogue Tovani base out in the middle of the Ashlands, but she used um, civvy intervention to escape, and now she doesn't know exactly where the base was. A uh, little advice? Don't bother looking for a convenient system of bridges or ferries across the lakes and rivers. There aren't any. If you're traveling in the Ascadian Isles, be prepared to get wet or to use magic to fly or walk across the waterways. Uh, is there like walk on water spells? That would actually be handy. Especially with all these damn... What are they called? Basically piranhas. Uh, the temple is at the south end of town. Uh, da -da -da -da. Doesn't look like you guys have anything here that I care about, really. Okay. I'll be on my way, then. Just make a note that it's here. Actually, you know what? Trade house. Uh... Hit the road. Really? Can't fit through there? Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't fit through there. I don't have a lot of patience for and, uh, whatever. I give up. Okay. My time is I would like so to sell some quick. stuff if you don't mind. Uh, food. We've got local ferrets filling in price to move. We've got the local brews. Uh, they're cheap and full of kick. I've got the good stuff too behind the counter. But it ain't cheap. And if you got a bit of a sweet tooth, could be that we can find something to satisfy that if the price is right. 
Skuma. Skuma is a narcotic. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sujama. You don't really care. Okay. Grief. The native Comberry brandy is locally called grief. Grief is a strong stimulant, but like all intoxicants, and tends to impair physical coordination. That is, it makes you feel real strong, but makes you clumsy. Turns you into an idiot. I got you. I got you. Uh, I would like to sell anything I don't need, basically. Like this iron saber that you won't buy. Okay. Um, probably don't need two fishing poles. You won't buy that either. Do you buy anything handy? String, magic. Buy that. The scale, sure. I don't know how any of this stuff works, so just sell it all off. That's fine. Uh, the emerald is worth a fair bit. I could probably get a better price for it somewhere where like people actually like me, but it's fine. Just take it. Oh, you only have 75 gold, though. Um, So I'll take the emerald back. That way I can just offload more crap. Do I have any, like, illegal substances on me? Because I'd love to get rid of that stuff. Just to make trading easier with other people. I've, looks like I've probably already gotten rid of it all, though. Oh, yeah, I think I, like, forgot it somewhere, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot. It happens. Um, I'd like some eggs and some greens. Oh, greens are kind of expensive. Wham. Well, that's fine. Offer the trade. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. Do you remember if the you sign on the corner was always at an angle? Mm, I don't think it was. Do you think somebody hit it? You know vampires. The Dumber hate necromancy and the undead, and hate blood vampires in particular. Blood vampires are so powerful are powerful undead creatures that feed on humanoid blood. The vampire curse is contracted from disease contaminated blood. Victims of vampire attacks sometimes become vampires. There is no known cure for vampirism, but the destruction of the vampire. Ash vampires are not blood vampires, though both are powerful and mortal and dead. Ash vampires do not feed on blood and have no connection with the blood vampires. So what are Ash vampires. I guess I can't really, like, tell me more about it, huh? It's definitely bent. Maybe that's what the sound was, then. <laughs> that would make sense to me. Uh, I don't think there's any point in taking, like, an actual nap. Since we can't sit down, but we're in a safe space, we're going to go ahead and just hang out here for a bit and call that a good reason to throw a save down because we could sleep if we wanted to I just don't see the point in sleeping right now honestly there were two cars out there they slowly backed up and left I'm sure it's fine nothing to worry about Ooh, there's a the, the mode of transportation I can never remember the name of these things but what is that is a real fancy light you got there. Outfitter. Do we have... No, it was weapons that we were going to sell. House of Earthly Delights? Is this a red light district? <laughs> I'm assuming so, based off of the red light in this place being called Earthly Delights, man. Yup. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Runa's a real gem, isn't she? A caravaner, a ca car caravaner, <laughs> told me he delivered a bunch of pilgrims and robes and a pile of equipment to a drop site east of Lake Navia, northwest of Mount Khan. There's nothing out there to interest a pilgrim. I'm gonna bet that that's a bunch of rogue Telvanni setting up housekeeping. I don't know what any of that means. What's this about? Well, hey there. It's a fine place this is, huh? It's a fine place. Good place for me to just forget about my troubles. No use thinking about them, stupid slaves. Why they gotta run, huh? Sure. Because nothing to do if they didn't. But why they gotta hide, too? What about stupid slaves? 
Oh, I hate them all. Specifically the one I can't find. Know what I mean? Of course you do. Been looking for this one. Haj I for months now. Can't find him though. Always running and hiding. Running and hiding. How's a man supposed to earn his keep? I'll tell you how. I'm running and looking. That's how. Even got myself a guide. I did. Good old hides his eyes. Kind of a stupid name if you ask me. Anyway, he's been showing me around here for a couple of weeks. Fat load of good. That's dummy. Uh, goodbye. I'm not going to go find this sleeve for you because... I don't know if I have the option of, like, freeing it or if <laughs> you have to hand them over. I don't know. I think I just don't want any, any part of it. I was just interested in the red, weird, glowing light here. That's all. Is this, like, the... Oh, it's a guard tower. I guess that makes sense. I don't think we're going to take the ride, but I am just curious... How much it would cost us to get to Baltimore from here. Twenty-three gold, not bad. But we, we gotta explore at some point. We might as well do it now, right? What's that building over there? I think we'll be fine. Yeah. I was a little worried about the drop, but it wasn't that big. Actually, I just realized we probably can't go up that, can we? It's probably too steep, so... Never mind, we will go this way. Up and around. Hi, rat. Ow. Bruh, for real? <laughs> nice. Goodbye, rat. I really miss my Skyrim combat, I'm not going to lie. I've been playing some uh, Tears of the Kingdom, the new Legend of Zelda game. And if anything, I'm missing the combat in that, to be honest. Because, man, is it good. <laughs> it's just like, I have the, the... This one's especially bad because of how everything is just like random dice rolls. But, like, it's a similar problem in Skyrim, you know. 90% of the combat just ends up coming down to standing around swinging over and over again and seeing who dies first <laughs> you know there's a little bit of uh whatchamacallit you can use a little bit of strategy you can use trying to like dodge and things but compared to something like the legend of zelda breath of the wild or um or tears of the kingdom the new one it's just like night and day difference between the two men why we gotta fall like that man <laughs> just get your ass up dude not a thief. I see all this stuff and it's very hard to not be a thief. Hello. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh. Um, do you have anything interesting? It doesn't look like it. What's your trade? I'm a noble of Great House Lalu. It's my privilege and pleasure to serve my house and clan as a leader and protector of its ancient prerogatives. In the grand mercantile traditions of House Lalu, I am a merchant prince. I concern myself with the wealth and influences of our houses and strive to bring profit and wealth to myself and my retainers and my humble clients and kinsmen. I serve at the pleasure of the clan and council, providing such public works and services as befits my station. You're a prince, huh? So I guess it would be bad if I just, like, took you out. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Imperial Law and the Legion, Freedom of Trade Religion. Okay. What's your name? So you're not a Hlalu by name, then. Are we in, like, Make it quick, the Alter. base of House Hlalu? This is empty. Poison Song. That's weird. Why is one stealing, but the other isn't? Uh, I'm not going to take the time to read all this right now. Every time I play like a Bethesda game, I say I'm going to take the time to sit and read all of the books, but then there just ends up being so many, and I'm like, dude, I don't have time to read that. <laughs> like, it's just, there's too much there to honestly read it all. Oh, God. Nope. Thought I was going to sneeze, but I think, I think it's stopped. It's gone. Time is precious to make it quick. I wasn't even stopping and talking to you, dude. 
you wasted your time screaming that at me instead of just going on with your own life. Les Manor, no. So not like the house, Lalu. Maybe like an offshoot of theirs or something? You guys look friendly. Is this a farm? Some interesting stuff. Go free? Oh, you're slaves. Where would the key be? Would it be in that fancy house? Yes, I'm assuming. Well, wait. The slave master shack. Maybe in here? I mean, I'm not a thief, but if I can free some slaves, I'll gladly free some slaves. I'm assuming they probably wouldn't just leave it, like, in the room, though. Right? Like, it's probably back in the main manor somewhere. But it would be real convenient if it was just laying in here. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, sadly. Alright. Well, back to the shack I go for a moment, then. <laughs> Presumably, one of them are probably carrying it on them. Actually. Honestly? Nicer shack than I thought it would be, all things considered. So are you... You're a slave. You're also a slave. Are you the slave master? Mr. Tool? Excuse me, master. Can you help me, please? I fear I am lost without your help. Please, can you aid a poor Argonian? Oh, kind of great one. Recently escaped from the Dren Plantation, am I? Very cruel they were to me there. Please, great friend, will you not help me? I have heard there is a place near here that will help those such as me. Oh, great and kind one, I beg you. A kindly red guard who helps us is what I've heard. I'll help you if I can. Thank you, thank you. You are too kind a tool. Not like the guards of the Dren Plantation. And cruel, cruel Orvis Dren, the powerful master there. And the evil brothers... Ianeth, so cruel, so cruel. Thank you for helping me deliver. Or, <laughs> kindly helping deliver me from them. God, I'm dying. Okay, who's this kindly red guard, though? Uh, red guard perhaps nearby. Hmm, okay. So maybe in the city? I'm assuming you're all slaves as well. Uh, not far from here, huh? Ooh, okay, I'm guessing you're the slave master. Uh, you work for House Lalu, okay. Hireling is a great House Steve Lalu, Trevor. huh? Is it, can you pickpocket in this game? I'm assuming, assuming that's why it's gone red. But I'm going to quick save just because I don't know how this works. I'll deal with you, thief. I didn't take anything, but okay. So now we know. You can't just look. What do you want? Without potentially suffering the consequences, which is fine. I was just curious. Bunch of yams. I'm surprised that you're allowed to take to the north and west, I have heard. But it is just stories that are told. North and west? So this way? Kindly red guard to the northwest, huh? Anybody else have any, like, more specific info? North and west. Uh. Sturdicon. To the northwest. Just follow the path. Okay. Uh, I guess you can come follow me. I had planned on trying to free these other slaves, but I guess now we'll just try to get this ex-slave to a uh, decent place. Where? Oh, there you are. Are you already following me? Travel together. Let's get moving. So just follow the path northwest to a farm. Are you following quickly enough? It looks like it. 
It's good to know the Argonians have basically the same terrible walking animation that the Khajiit have. Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nothing. The sign was useless. I see a farm, though. Should we have him wait, like, back here? Wait here for a moment. Thank you. Just because, like, I don't actually know anything about this guy, right? He could be a kindly red guard, or it could be just false stories of him, and he could actually be a giant dick. Like, I don't, I just don't know. I'm picking all the marshmallow because I'm pretty sure it's half of, like, a healing potion of some kind. I think we read something about that at some point. I don't remember what the other half was, so I don't know how useful that actually is. Why not? <coughs> you there. Hello. In your trade. I am a farmer. I grow crops and raise animals for food and gather animal products and vegetable products from the land for my own use or for sale at the markets. Um, background? I am a Sturdicon farmer. Uh, da 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 da. At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine <laughs> prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer had been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Uh, I have no idea. If you kill yourself trying to complete a job that's too difficult for you, that's nobody's fault but your own. I mean, <laughs> fair. Um, about 50% of Vardenfell's inhabitants are dumber. The other half are Redguard, Breton, Nord, Altmer, Bosmer, Imperial, Khajiit, Argonian, and Orc in roughly equal proportions. Uh, so you're a Redguard then, but do I need to just bring him over? I guess we just got to bring him over and hope for the best. Summoned by another. Questions again. Yes, follow me. Come, speak to this guy. I believe he may be your kindly red guard. Your journey ends, Orc. For bringing me to this place, I thank you. It has been a thorn in the side of the Kimona Tong for too long, too long. Be on your way, Outlander, or with this red guard you will die. This is the choice I give you. Wait, what? <laughs> Damn it, Tool! <laughs> uh... Damn it, dude. Why are you focused on me? Focus on him. You have a lot of health, don't you, dude? Oh, you're using, like, some sort of healing spell, like vampirism or something. Ah, oh, you killed him. Oh, of course, now we get a couple hits on you. Man, now I, I feel bad. I didn't want this dude to die. Oh, you bastard. Oh, this is a story about how we're about to die. I think he's out of magic now, so that's that's handy, I guess. I can't get up. I'm just I'm completely stunned on the ground. Um Did the game glitch? I don't <laughs> I'm thirsty and hungry. That might be part of the problem. Oh, there we go. We're finally back up. And we're on the ground again. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb, dude. What is... Oh, my God. I can't do anything. Okay, we're finally dead. Yeah, let's reload from the last safe spot we were in. Um... Okay, so screw Tool. <laughs> we, we don't want to deal with Tool, like, at all. Where are we? Oh, shit, that's right. We quick saved from... Oh, whatever. We didn't do anything dangerous. Um, Technically, we should be going back to town. What? Oh, son of a bitch. I'm still... I'm still crouched. Speak, traveler. My, I'm still crouched. There we go. Uh, no. You can wait here for the time being. Gray approaches. 
Uh, let's take a drink. Oh, good. Our water flask is empty. Our water jug should be good, though. Um, What do we do about Tool? If we just, like, kill him now, would that be bad? Because we probably have to let him attack before we can attack him, right? Tell you what. Summoned by another. Questions again. Let's get moving. We're going to take you over there again, but I'm not going to take him quite to the location where he starts, like, fighting the dude. I'm going to leave him just outside there and just hope that he stays there for basically ever. <laughs> that way, whenever we get a little bit stronger, get better gear or something, we can come back and fuck his shit up. What's up, Joko? RE4 and Final Fantasy X. Very nice, my guy. A uh, little late, sadly. We did end up rolling for the next game. We got Jack 2. I, uh... Meant to do it last night, but I was so tired and just feeling blah. <laughs> and, uh, I, I forgot to do it after we finished up a Metal Gear Solid 3. But we'll definitely throw those on for the next one, though. Okay, you stay there. This you fell asleep during the boss's speech? I get it, man. <laughs> it's, uh, don't get me wrong, the end of the game was really good. But my god, it's Kojima... And, uh, know how to draw things out, man. We <laughs> just make it take forever. Close the next 40 Wednesdays. It's just the entire rest of the year, huh? Nice. Oh, man. Uh, I'm actually considering moving the, the day that we work on completing games, that we play games complete, to Monday, back to Monday from Wednesday. Um, just because I share a day off with my brother on Wednesdays. So, like, it would be nice if I was able to hang out with him a little bit more often. And Mondays I don't. But I haven't decided for sure if I want to or not. Anyways, okay. We're not thieves, but these people have a bunch of slaves. So I'm curious if it's possible to find the key just laying about anywhere that we could use to free them. Because if it's possible, I would love to do so, but I don't imagine it's going to be that simple. Exquisite amulet, man. That's, that's some quick money right there, but again, not thieves. Hmm... Nothing, huh? It's, it's probably on someone's person. My time is precious, so make it quick. The rules of House Lalu are simple. You must never interfere with the business of House Lalu. Or if you do, be sure you are not caught. If you're never caught stealing from a member or attacking a member, you'll be fine. If you are expelled, you will have to make amends. Okay, then... <laughs> So basically, it's perfectly fine if you murder or steal from other people that's part of the clan. Just don't let anyone find out that you did it. Gotcha. Chest of drawers, huh? Wait, can you see me? Oh, hi. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. I didn't expect you to, like, follow me into here. Are you just following me everywhere I go? Strange. Or are you, like, on some sort of cycle? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Jack's, like, uh, estimated at about 11 hours is, like, its average time to, to, to beat. Could end up being longer or shorter than that, depending on, you know, how, like, how much we try to complete. Damn it, now she knows I'm here and she's following me. Okay. What? She doesn't see me, dude. How does she... Bruh, how can you see behind you? I mean, I could just murder her, I guess. <laughs> like, You gotta stretch it out over 40 Wednesdays? What? 
I think it's fine if we complete it <laughs> like without him being there. I think it'll be okay. Alright, I've given up on saving these slaves because I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to get into any of that stuff without her catching us. I it's probably not just like on the first floor here anywhere, right? Oh, there's a there's another door here. Oh, it just goes into a storeroom back here though. Food, food. Food. Yeah, I really don't expect to find the key to free the slaves just thrown in a random basket, but gotta try. Well, that way, if you get a game he's been voting on, then he won't be closing. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the games that he votes on tend to be pretty long. So, like, if we do get one, there's a decent chance he'll be able to catch a tiny bit of it, at least. <laughs> Like I said, I am considering moving it to Monday. I don't know if that helps Chocobo at all or not, but, like, I am considering moving it to Monday regardless. Because, Noodle, you never get time off on Mondays anyways, like you're supposed to. And I uh, share a day off with my brother on Wednesdays, so. Alright, well, it's getting late in game. that is. Should we just set up camp... Yeah, because it gets it actually gets really dark in this game, so I think it's probably best if we just set up camp here. Like Is it just you making noise? You don't normally attack, so I'm sure it's fine. As soon as I switch it, you know she's gonna start giving you Mondays off. Probably. Probably. But there's not much I can do about that, sadly. And our bedroll, please. And let's take a nap until just a solid 12-hour camp. We'll probably get... We didn't. I fully expected for us to get bothered at some point. Pack up, and I'm sure we're probably thirsty and hungry as shit. Uh, magic. We have cooked eggs. And some cooked greens. Nice. And on we go. Do we try... Oh, wait. I forgot to save. Let's save now. And now that we have full health... I think we'll go ahead and try again. Taking out this guy. Do we have any potions or anything we can do that would help us before the fight starts? We're not allowed to use them in the middle of the fight, but we could use them before. Now it's all just like restore stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We could equip that, the spell, the Medusa's Gaze or whatever it's called. Bring a Medusa's Gaze. Since it's a magic item, it's sure to happen. Charge 75. Oh, that's how many times we can use it right now. Okay. It cost 15. How much mana do we actually have? 30. So I could only use it twice, but... I think that would be fine. Okay, you. Travel together. Let's get moving. Try again. No, I don't think you did tell me that, Noodle. That's gross. Why does your boss hate you, dude? <laughs> like... Come on. Come on. Not close enough yet? There we go. To the gods with you. Uh, F. Uh, R. What? You resisted magic? Nice. Is he already dead? No, he's not dead yet. Focus on me. Aggro on me. That hurt. <laughs> 
Bro, come on, dude. Don't aggro on him. Aggro on me. Oh, shit. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm over encumbered. Why am I over encumbered? Did he run out of magic? I think he ran out of magic. But... Grievous arm wound and a chest injury. And another chest injury. My god, dude. Yeah, I don't think we can take on this guy, to be honest with you, dude. Especially not when this keeps happening. <laughs> like, you're, start you're starting to fail. <laughs> We're going to try one more time. I'm going to give it one more shot. Because I think we can do it. I wish we had some way of, like, draining his magic. Because that's where most of his damage comes from. Plus, he gets, like, heals from it. It must be some sort of, like, vampiric-style attack. But I don't think any of our weapons or anything have, like, any way to help with that, right? Carol. We do have the Cursed Ring. No. That would just hurt us. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck, I don't think there's anything we can really do, man, except for just hope for the best. Is this poison? Was this magicka? Fortify fatigue. Wait, speaking of, let's save that. Oh, and uh equip Ring of Medusa's gates. Give it another shot, dude. <laughs> Hello. Travel together. Let's get moving. Goodbye. I can't help but wonder, like, if we just killed him, if we would still complete the quest in, like, a favorable way, or if we have to lure him over here, like, trigger him revealing himself as a member of the, uh, the Molon Tong, or whatever it's called. I'm not giving up that easily. Ah, uh, what? Bro, I've already lost like half my fucking magic, dude. Or not half my magic, like half my fucking health, dude. Why do I have so much magic this time, though? I hate this guy so much. And he's dead. Bro. Item does not have enough charge? What? Oh, it's not using my MP. It's using 15 of the charges every time. Is that what it's doing? God damn it. I did not understand the way items worked at all. I thought it still used our MP, and the charge was just, like, the total number of times we could use it. Not, like, a uh, separate MP pool, basically. Once he runs out of MP, like, it's not too bad. We stand a chance, maybe. Until we run out of stamina. Because once we run out of stamina, then this happens and we're just completely screwed. Bro. <laughs> this, is, this is so fucking dumb. <laughs> There's literally nothing I can do, man. I mean, I could, like, drink a potion or something, but that would break the rules of our... of our run that we're doing. Yep, we're dead. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reload. That's fine. <laughs> it's, hey, we breathing? You hoping to get them queued up? I do Oh god. Oh 
Oh wait, we back? Hello, hello. There we go. It was the game. I don't know why, but the game was causing everything to to break. Um, Bo broke it. It's okay. Bo has the cute eyes back, so it's fine, right? Um, there we go. So yeah, I just have to relaunch the game, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. the The game started having like a really low frame rate, and then like everything was just broke. And the style wasn't too bad, right? Bo's looking pretty good, man. You'd be looking cute. Hopefully we can load back into the game without it, like, breaking anything. <laughs> now to load. Stream 6. Go. Oh. There we go. Hey, and it loaded a hell of a lot quicker that time, too. Is it gonna pop up on actual stream, though? Like, it's on my preview, but no. Okay, hold on. Might have to like that transition and transition back or something. Oh no, the stream's just like way behind for me on like my dashboard. Maybe I just need to reload. Maybe that's the problem. Just making sure everything's working okay. I think so. Turn, turn. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty short. I think we're good now. Alright, so screw that guy. We're not messing around with him anymore. And we're just gonna keep on traveling. I wish, like, we could just... Man, <laughs> what? Oh, wait, there was one thing I wanted to do, actually, real quick. Um, Average level to beat Morrowind. Uh, what's the level cap? The level cap is 78. So anything higher than 30 is just overkill. So I'm going to say... Instead of going up... Uh, is it under preferences? Five each time. So if level 30 is considered like the max normal, then every th level we go up like three difficulty points. Will it let me? No, it literally skips from five to seven. Whatever. Seven then. Because <laughs> at that point we'd be at like difficulty right around 100 when we're finishing the game. Uh, assuming that we, you know, have roughly that level. See, with the base game, without, like, changing the difficulty settings the way I did, they were saying, like, level 12 is where you can start taking on all the high-level enemies and shit. Which is just crazy to me. Like, we're level 3 and almost dying to slaughterfish and rats and shit. <laughs> like, what? Or at least we were. Once we turned down the difficulty a little bit, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, see, like, when we talk to him, he we can't do anything to, to ask him about, like, the slave trade or tell him that, hey, we have a slave that might need some help. You have questions? Wait, you have your own slave? Bro, now I'm just more confused. So, are you just a kind slave owner then, and that's why everyone likes you compared to the other ones? Ancestral tombs usually mean bad things. We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend we don't know anything about any of this. We're just gonna keep walking. That's what I've decided. Keep following the river north. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. 
There's even a convenient road here for us. Let's just... <laughs> Fuck, man. I just want to go get back to the Fighters Guild, do some fighting, maybe get a level or two, and start this main quest line at this point. Because every time we try to do anything else, we die. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of death going on around here. Granted, Orc Rogue, probably not the best build in the world, but <laughs> we decided to just accept whatever we got, and that's what we got. Hello? Thank heavens you found me. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't shown up. I've been trapped here by some Kaguti since my friend and I were separated. You can't tell me what that is, maybe? I became separated from my friend, Thorinar. When I went off to investigate some sounds I heard, it turns out it was a pack of wild Kaguti near here. And they trapped me here. You haven't seen them. Oh dear, I don't dare try and go back while they're still prowling the area. Perhaps you can take care of them or find another way for us to get back. Another way such as? When well, nothing comes to mind right away, I was hoping you had a way. I just fear those Kaguti will attack me again if they see me. Um, I'll try and get rid of them. I mean, I'll try to get rid of them. Where are they? I don't even know what Kaguti are. I'm assuming they're around here somewhere, right? Are they... You didn't really give me any hint as to where to find them. Are you Kaguti? Ow. Ow. Can I even hit you? Okay, yeah, that worked. No, you're a cliff racer. I think we've fought a cliff racer before, so that was dumb. Uh, okay. So, sir, can you tell me where they are? <laughs> that would that would go a long way in helping you out, my guy. Maybe just farther down the road. There were two of them, I believe. Two gorgeous Kaguti. Such wonderful mannerisms. Such fascinating calls. It's weird, like, it's not even popping up blue for us to get, like, more info about it. Oh, is that them? Maybe it's those guys. Which, we have struggled a little bit with them in the past, but we might be okay. I think we can probably handle it. Let's get that Ring of Medusa's gaze out. And... Learn that we're... Fine. Probably drink a shitty health potion just to be safe. Okay, they're already angry. Oh, wait, shit. I really wish that ring lasted a little bit longer. There's one down. Oh, they're in the middle of mating. Maybe that's why they're so angry. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get it on, dude, and you interrupted them. All right, where's the other one? Nice. Let's go. Get wrecked. Take your hides. Some calm berries. All right, I got rid of them. Where's your friend at? Do I just need to report back to you, or do I need to find him as well? They be gone. I it is now safe to travel. But make it quick. Gotten rid of those Kaguti. A shame, really. They're simple, fast, simply fascinating creatures. Well, when they're not trying to devour you. I suppose we should be on our way then. Thornor should be just west of here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. They have a very distinct call. One type of vocalization you'll hear is used for mating, another for territorial disputes. And the coloration on them is beautiful. The one who chased me here was a real ripper. <laughs> Okay. So west of here, you say. So basically just follow the road. And hope to find your friend. Wait, are you following me? 
damn it, you are following me. I hate having followers, dude. <laughs> Why does everybody follow me? Why can't you just find your own damn friend? Is that him? Am I about to be ambushed? I must feel like I'm about to be ambushed. If I can help, I will, but don't Hi, take too here's your friend. Time. Ooh, an amulet of slow falling. That's really cool, actually. Um... Is it, like, automatic, or is it something I need to activate? Where is it? Uh, here it is. For 30 points for 10 seconds when used on self. So it is... A use on self thing. That's fine, though. Amulet is slow falling. 47 out of 225. Some weird numbers, but... Hold on. Is there, like... I just want to know how it works. Ah, sit. Sit? <laughs> I can't talk! I just want to get, like, high up somewhere so I can, like, jump down. I don't think this is really high enough jump to test it, but whatever. It's the best I can do right now, I guess. Aw, oh, dude! <laughs> wow, that is really slow falling. That's crazy. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty sick, man. I am happy about that one. That's cool. That should make it a lot easier to get down from high places. Salt trees, calm berries. Do we know just the mortar and pestle cuz we have a mortar and pestle. Are there like recipes? I know Marshmallow. Drain attribute? No. I'm pretty sure at least Marshmallow is part of a recipe for restore health. Is that the other one? Cork Ball? Probably gonna fail, huh? Hmm. Did we get any... Hold on. Do you... You, you probably... Yeah, I was gonna say grow cork bulb, right? Do we get any experience for failed attempts, I guess is what I want to know. Because right now we are at Alchemy. 53 out of 100. So I want to take. Marshmallow and Cork Ball create. Failed. But, still 53 out of 100. Hmm. So, our best bet, sadly, is probably talking to trainers. I'm just not a big fan of that. I prefer to just do things myself, not pay someone else to do them for me. <laughs> Slavery is protected by law, Morrowind. Slavery is illegal throughout the rest of the Empire. But some dumber still defend their ancient right to own slaves. And more when slaves are bound by enchanted slaver bracers. The bracers drain the magicka from the slaves so they can't use magic to escape. Unless you have a key and can't get the slave bracers off, the emperor should put a stop to slavery. Unless you have a key, you can't get the slave bracers off. That makes more sense. I was wondering, I was like, that sentence really doesn't make any sense to me, my guy. The emperor should put a stop to slavery, but the dumber claim the right to own slaves is guaranteed by the armatrice. <laughs> okay. That does explain a bit about why it's a thing here. Um, I wonder if that's one of the, like, goals of ours being here, is to help free the slaves or make slavery illegal. What's this over here? Probably something I don't want to go in. You're dead, and come on, rat, just die. I wonder, do we get skill? Because, like, we get skill in athletics or whatever every time we jump, right? Do we get skill with our axe every time we swing it? 86 out of 100. No. Must just be when we hit stuff with it. Which makes sense, honestly, but 
there was a part of me hoping. Can we take him? How much damage do you do? Aw, oh, dude, yeah, I think we can take you. If we can hit you again, at least. Annoyingly, you're a freaking archer, so you keep running away. Longbow. Cool. Spark arrows. 46 of them, too. Very nice. 95. Not bad. Okay, so we actually get a decent amount of experience, too. Whenever we actually hit stuff. Just one of you in here? Oh, that spark arrow kind of hurts when it hits, though. Holy shit, I take it back. Oh, no! No! <laughs> well. That happened. Uh, <laughs> that's what I get. See what I said, man? Every time we try to go anywhere and do anything, we just die. <laughs> this, game, this game is rough, dude. Compared to, like, Skyrim, right? It's much, much harder, at least in the early game, than something like Skyrim is. I'd right, actually want to go the way we went before, because that slow-falling um, thing that we got for doing that short quest was really good, actually, so... So I want to do that again. But, we've taken all this marshmallow... So I can try to make health potions. Keyword being try. And you have more over here, don't you? Yes. Mork mob and cork bulb. Or more. What? <laughs> Marshmallow and cork bulb. Take everything, please. Take it. Take it. Come on. Almost there. Good job. All right, onward. I hope the, the stream is working well now. I think it is. Seems like everything's working at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way, really. Ooh, more marshmallow. And more marshmallow. All the marshmallow, dude. I'll have to try and remember this place. I'm definitely going to forget it, but <laughs> if we can remember it as a good place of marshmallow, that would be awesome. Assuming I'm not mistaken, and Marshmallow is like a key component in Restore Health Potions. And we find out a good way to, like, to, to raise our alchemy. Preferably without paying anyone. I'd really rather not, but we might have to. Just to get started on it. Alright, sir, where are you? You gotta be getting close. There you are. Hello. What about your friend? I'll get rid of them. Goodbye. Whip our magic again. Medusa's gaze. Please and thank you. Hello, friend. You want to come try to eat my face off again? I'm sorry to interrupt your mating, but... It seems you're being a nuisance to the local travelers. I did not agree for both of you to come and attack me at the same time. Excuse me? Pull out my weapon, please. Okay, there's one down. Why can't I hit you? Hit him! Hit him! Oh my god, dude. We're gonna freaking die. Uh, what? <laughs> How did that happen? We had such a... Oh, you know what? No, difficulty is still set at 7. Why? It was so easy last time. Why? This game, man. <laughs> this game is rough. Uh, Okay. So we want to re-equip Ring of Medusa's Gaze. Keep that. Get good. There's like, it's like saying get good in a game of, of just rolling dice. Like not dice the game, but like in just rolling dice. Like you take a dice, I take a dice. We both roll it um, down a dice tower so it's completely fair. 
and whoever gets the higher score wins, right? Like that's <laughs> that's what that's what this is right now. I mean, you can do stuff obviously like talk to skill trainers, like pay off skill trainers to help make your skill better or just grind very basic enemies for long periods of time to get your level up early, I guess. You could do something like that. But like there's really no skill to just swinging at someone, right? Unless I'm missing something. There might be something that I'm missing. But from what I've been told so far, it's basically just swing your weapon at someone, don't spam swing, wait about a second, and let it go. Wait about a second, let it go, and repeat. <laughs> that's, that's basically all the more I've been told to do with like the combat here. Like, <laughs> Open console, select what's trying to kill you, then type kill and enter. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely against the spirit of the, 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 I don't even really want to call it a challenge, but I guess technically it's a challenge. It's a lot lighter challenge run than, you know, what a lot of people would be doing. <laughs> All right, friend, I'm here to try to help you again. Your friend, I'll get rid of him. Goodbye. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Caps lock so we can get our energy back. Get this ready. One thing that I do think would be helpful is if they didn't both come attack me at one time like they did last time. Like if only one of them would spot me and come running over here. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. That went well. I'm wondering, too, if they're paralyzed, if they're easier to hit. Just, like, in general. Because it does definitely seem that way. Whenever the people are paralyzed, that they, uh... They don't fight... Well, yeah, obviously they don't fight back. Um, they don't dodge as much, is what I was trying to say. I doubt it, but I wonder if we get any magic experience for using magic items. I assume it has to be stuff that, like, actually spends our magic, not the other way around. But I could be wrong on that. I just download a gun mod. I wonder if there are any gun mods. Somebody's had to have done it, but I still think that'd be a, a little against the mostly vanilla thing that I got going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's more like a uh, let's just fuck around kind of mod. Have you seen all of the memes online of like uh, why JK Rowling left America out of the original Harry Potter books? And then it's just like a scenario of somebody pulling out a wand and trying to do something and then they just pull really out like their Glock and fucking <laughs> just murder them. Shit like that. Not defending her at all, but I found the memes pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, da 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 da. Unhedging, flight, flight, blah blah. Oh, we have to equip it first, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Slow falling amulet. There we go. And slow falling. Very cool. I guess we could test it. So, what school of magic would that be, though? Slow falling. That green symbol probably means something, but I don't know. Uh, okay, it's like a fucked up smiley face, almost. Chant, destruction, alteration. Beachcraft, Mune Block. I don't think either it doesn't line up or I like went over it too quickly. I thought it would like line up with one of these though. Eh, it doesn't seem to though, sadly. Hmm. Too bad. You can find vanilla flavored bullets. 
What are you going on about, my guy? <laughs> oh, we forgot to raid the chest this time for all the marshmallow. No, oh, whatever. We have plenty. Um, what was I saying? Found a TikToker that plays off that whole idea. He's the American transfer student. Very nice. I don't think you had anything interesting, right? If you're just giving the food away, I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, you're just a farmer. You don't really have anything to you're say. Okay. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. What did I do, my guy? I just stopped it and said hello. Okay, so we're not going that way. <laughs> That's what we learned. We're just not even going to go in there. Even though we took down that first skeleton pretty easily, I don't trust them to not just murder me this time. So we're going to pretend we've never seen those fields before and just continue on with our lives. Um, what I do kind of want to try to do, since we have pork bulb and marshmallow, what happens if we like put more ingredients in? Does it change it? No, not really. Okay. Um... Four of them. Now, did that fail like four individual times or? Either the, either there's an extremely low chance of it working or there's just no chance of it working until you're of a high enough skill level. Which for us is five right now. So like not a very good chance, I presume. So we will pay someone off the next time we see someone that can teach us alchemy. Alchemy and uh, either armor skill or axe skill, probably. Maybe athletics? Uh, no. I thought maybe athletics would be... Like, have something to do with dodging, but it doesn't seem to. Speaking of, though, I'll take that uh, skill increase. Thank you, game. We're still kind of sort of keeping our eye out for a bandit on the road. Not that we personally want to deal with any bandits, but because we want to tell him that he has a potential lover uh, down the road that he robbed not too long ago. If he wants to, like, uh, I don't know, straighten out his act a little bit and settle down. Bastard. <laughs> Why are you so hard to hit? Oh. Oh, okay. We're already back to Moon Moth Fort. Nice. Um, so I guess this way... That takes us, like, around. Okay. Maybe we can just cut over the hills. Get a little shortcut. And... Oh, man. Is there a chance that it fails? I was going to say, and we can just jump off the cliff to get down more quickly. Then I realized that we might just die if we try that, though. Oh, it's like on the other side of the next hill, too. Okay. I guess we could just, like... Fuck it. Oh, well, <laughs> that didn't quite go as planned, but <laughs> whatever, it's fine. Can we use it again, like, while we're floating? To renew it? We can. Dope. Can we attack while we're floating in the air? <laughs> we can. That's pretty sick, dude. Oh, you bastard. Nice. Get wrecked. So I keep feeling like I'm getting things done at my job too fast. To the point you're double checking with your one boss at first location. I'm like 
think I'm getting things done fast. I feel like I'm missing something. He's like, nah, you're just getting used to it and everyone looks good. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a good problem to have, right? To be getting your work done a little too fast? <laughs> as long as your boss says everything looks good, man, I would not worry about it. That looks like a soft lock. That's what that looks like. Now, charges on magic items recharge over time, right? I'm pretty sure they do. So our amulet has... Okay, I can't, can't see it from there. 134 of 225. Yeah, you're used to having someone yell at you even when you're doing your job right instead. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. And now, I might not have given enough time though. Just have to like check it tomorrow or something if I remember after we sleep tonight. Which should be relatively soon because there's the town. I just got to remember where the hell the fighters go. It's at. I think it's right back here. Is it not? Maybe it's on that side. It must be on that side. Yeah, because this is the the housing side. Okay. It's the other side of town. See, Balmore is not too bad, man. I more or less got the lay of the land here down. I can't say where everything's at, but the, the three main points of interest I can figure out pretty quick. Like, that I'm interested in, I should say. There's definitely more than three points of interest in the whole town. Your trader? Rest and heal your wounds. Are you the trader? Barter. I would like to sell some of the crap I got if you buy it. Like this fishing pole. This iron saber. Um cheap amulet. I'm gonna keep this glove. I should go drop that in my house though. Cause I don't know if I'm ever actually gonna be able to use it for anything. Uh, some hides. I mean, they don't weigh much. I'll keep them. Sell the scuttle. Extra eggs. Stone flower petals. These are actually worth a decent bit. How much money do you have? 600? Soul trap for 67. I mean, there's other ways to soul trap, right? I'm just going to sell them. So, I think that's pretty much everything I want to get rid of. I'm going to keep the carrying flight ones. I don't know if it's actually worth keeping, but... Like, all these lockpicks. Should I be carrying around all these lockpicks? I have no idea, man. I have literally no clue. Oh, you got another demon Tonto, huh? And a fiend Tonto. Is that just like a better version of the demon one? What's the value? 3,125. 9,000 on that one. Holy shit, dude. My principal at the other location has us feel out of paper with our favorite snack, place to shop, eat, and favorite soda so she can get things for all of us. That's really cool, dude. That's nice of her. You don't see that too many places, man. <laughs> you definitely don't see that kind of stuff too many places. A boss that uh takes that level of interest in you, you know? I don't think I need to buy anything from you. So I'm just going to yeah, just take your money. Do you do um any training by any chance? Uh, crown barter. Thought maybe he would teach like speechcraft or something like that, but maybe not. Uh, go ahead and fill my flask and jug for me, though. I would appreciate that. And we will be on our way, sir. 
you earn armor. Uh, Mage's Guild should be around here somewhere, yeah. So maybe the Mage's Guild will have an Alchemist Trainer? Go ahead. Just invited to join a union? No. <laughs> I don't believe it. Alchemy, you do train alchemy for 50. And then 54. <laughs> this is going to get expensive quick. And then 63. Holy shit. Okay. So that's what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And that is probably the majority of our money. Oh, well, we still have 459. We have more than I thought we would left. Uh, intelligence is the base skill for that, they said. So maybe next time we level up, we should try to put a little bit into intelligence. Regardless of that, though. Um, if we... Go into the mortar and pestle... Workball brew marshmallow. Still fails. Okay. <laughs> I just <laughs> if I can help, I will. Obviously, I just don't know how to <laughs> how to do it, man. Mage's Guild. It must be this one. Fighter's Guild, yep. Hello. What do you guys train? Medium armor, block, long blade. Are you wounded? You should Does anybody you. around here train? Light armor or axes? Oh, you won't help me because I'm too low. Hmm. Okay, well. We have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Four Telvani agents are responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines. Their names are those. Um, they're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. Okay. North of the Caldera Mine. In a cave. You've got the better of me. Go ahead. What? What do you mean I got the better of you? How do I have the better of you, dude? You've Wait, were you coming on to me? Go ahead. Bro, these hitboxes are absolute ass. Why? Excuse me? One of the bus drivers turns out she's the president and was like, and hey, we're having a luncheon on Thursday for the service personnel stop on by and get some food. Dope, so, dude. where are you from? You should take them up on that offer, honestly. Uh, like, uh, did you want something? Arrows? I mean, we should probably take this stuff just to sell it, if nothing else. Journeyman's armor hammer? I don't know what that is, but... So if nothing else, we can just sell that shit. Echo low beef. Hmm. Again, don't know. But free stuff is free stuff. That's cool. That's like an actual light source. Uh, da -da -da -da. Is there nobody else in here? Here we go. What kind of training do you do? Block Spear Athletics. Uh, that's getting expensive, though. Block Athletics hand-to-hand. -hand. So no light armor yeah. around here. I'm guessing maybe like the Thieves Guild or something would be the best bet for that. Oh, you already did. Okay. Good food. Also ran out of gas there, and they helped with that. <laughs> you have the worst luck with that shit, though. Uh, just nine hour rest till the morning. Have a drink and eat whatever food we have left. Cooked eggs. I'm gonna need to cook some more food or buy some more food or something soon, though. All right, I'm listening. Oh, forgot to save. Save. Stream six, go. Yes. 
Okay, uh, so, sucks that it's raining, but oh well. Let's first stop by the shop here. Sell off the crap that I just picked up that I don't want. And then, oh yeah, we have the emerald too. Might as well sell that off. And then head on down to the Caldera Mine, I guess? Or the, the caves north of the Caldera Mine? Uh, we probably don't need that book for anything. Ring in that. Oh, well, that's right. We, we're gonna. Oh well, whatever. Get rid of the bolt. Iron arrows. Value one. Weight point one. Attack one to three. Attack one to two. Same weight and value. So let's sell. The chitin arrows then. For 383 gold, not bad. Too bad he doesn't have quite enough. So do you have anything that I would like to buy? Um Daily pay screwed me over. The pay I was supposed to get, they kept most of it, and I won't see it till June second. Dude, that sucks. You gotta have something I'm at least, like, vaguely interested in, right? Is it because you try to, like, get daily pay and then quit your job, like, before you got it or something? Or, like, how did, how did that happen, you know what I mean? What do you want? Save just for convenience sake. We haven't done anything dangerous or stupid. It doesn't look like any of the crates have respawned yet. So we're going to caves north of Caldera. So that's Caldera. So really, we're just heading north in general. Oh, and it looks like the amulet did recover. Forgot all about one to check that, but yeah, okay, cool. So we can use these things as much as we want, not really have to worry about it. At least for the most part. Quickly, I'm sure you have plenty of time. Uh, I don't think you have anything to tell me. Because the next check won't go to them, supposedly, so they took both out of this check. Then you're supposed to get it back on your final check. Weird. I I guess that kind of makes sense, though. Like, it's annoying for you, don't get me wrong, but... Because, like, if they're going to be sending your final paycheck from the company, whether it's in, in like, the mail or, or whatever... Although, if it's not going through the mail, then, like, why wouldn't they... I don't know. Whatever. Let's just hope everything turns out okay in the end. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, man. Once we get to Caldera, I think I'm going to have to take a short break just to take some time and all my head's starting to kill me again. Uh, you know what? That slow falling one is nice and all. But Medusa's gaze, I think, is probably actually more helpful for combat. Nice. I will take that hound meat, thank you. You're pretty sure it's still going through daily pay? Like, what does daily pay get out of lying about that, though? You know what I mean? Like, unless it was just some random glitch and they were just making up some BS to shut you up. Like, what did they gain from lying about whether the final paycheck is going through them or through someone else. What's the motive? <laughs> Are you? Yeah, you're a rat. Give me a ratty boy. And you're dead. Goodbye. You need to find more little creatures to kill. 
Like, I didn't want to really kill the little, what are these called, scuttle bugs or whatever, because they're friendly. They're nice, but... But we need just, like, more stuff to kill in general. So we can try to increase our skill. It'd be very helpful if we could freaking hit anything, man. <laughs> I think they're confused with the systems being weird, yeah. Like I said, like, may it... That scared me for a second, man. I thought the game was going to crash. I could see it being, like, some sort of glitch or something like that. And then some, some, you know... I'm assuming you talk to them on the phone or chat or whatever. Uh, but, anyways, whoever you talk to just trying to shut you up by saying basically whatever they need to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could see it being that sort of thing. Oh, I hate being sick, man. <laughs> I hate it so much. I'm feeling a little better today than I was yesterday, though, so I'm really hoping that it's uh, almost done. Whatever the hell is going on exactly. Oh, okay. I think that's called Dara right there. We've been to before. Haven't been to in a while, but we have been there before. They won't send a mail. Mail. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, though, because I, I know you had said that, like, they didn't have the right address on file and everything, and it would just make things a lot more complicated if they did, so. You are a dick, sir. That kind of hurt. Not going to lie. Should we get... I mean, I'm probably still early in the day. Yeah, it's only 11 a.m. But with the shitty weather and everything, I'm wondering if we should get room and board. Uh, and then head up to the mines afterwards. Um, I think that's actually a good idea. Where... There's got to be... My tongue hurts, too. There's got to be somewhere that we can get room and board around here. Shank shovel? This... Okay, yeah, this looks like a tavern of some sort. Um, What can you tell me about the Caldera Mining Company, actually? The Caldera Mine Company is chartered by the Emperor to extract ebony ore from rich underground deposits. That makes sense. The mines are southwest of the village of Caldera. Oh. Okay. There's an office, bunkhouse, and guard tower over near the mine. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I remember. I remember from when we were there before. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? Just give me a bed. Thank you. What's your story? We're going to take a nap. I'm going to take a break. Get some Tylenol. Maybe blow my nose because... Oh, shit. I hope my bed's still good, even though I left. I didn't mean to leave. I <laughs> thought that was just a, a door to go up or something. Uh, bed, 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 bed. Sturdy arch door, maybe? Nope. Room door unlocked. I bet you. Yes, it's this one. I remember now. I would like to rest until, well, tomorrow, basically. Rest, please. Very nice. And well, that's weird. There it is. <laughs> it's like I saw it pop up that we were hungry and or thirsty, and then it just disappeared. It's weird that we're only hungry and not thirsty, but whatever. Okay. Hey, so I'm gonna blow my nose because it is very stuffy all of a sudden. And uh take some Tylenol for my head that's killing me. I also realized that I forgot to change the uh thing from just chatting to Morwins. So I'm going to fix that too because we're definitely not just chatting. So anyways, BRB guys. After I save. Yes. Okay. Remember, I've forgotten already. But just moving around in this area right here where he went from like 60 to 80% usage 
down to I'm seeing a max of like 13% so hopefully that'll fix any problems that we had with with crackling or I was getting some dropped frames on my my end and whatnot so hopefully that fixes all of that stuff okay so apparently this was the wrong way I, I do remember one of the only problems I had with the Tarzan world is that there was a lot of backtracking in this one we might need to go to the treehouse again I can't remember exactly where we need to go but we have to we have to trigger the next scene before we come back here I guess yeah because this is still all closed off Clayton's not here okay back the other way we go man Hopefully the NVIDIA NVENC encoder looks pretty decent on stream too. I imagine it will. Like I said, they NVIDIA has been doing really well at making a bunch of a different uh, advancements with it. And I've heard that the, the I don't have the spell I think you want. The NVENC encoder in the 3060 is actually pretty good. Or just the, the, the 30 series in general. Hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Tarzan? Something coming. Jane, danger. Jane, near, near treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Oh, the gas station still didn't have any four milligram 